Hey guys, it's Corey from Thought Soldiers. So, um, just waiting on the trolley to arrive. I've got 11 minutes, figured I'd do a little video. So, um, the big shift that happened um, yesterday with the solar eclipse and new moon um, is a new call for our, our guidance system and the way we operate and the way we handle things on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the call that I've been getting from my guidance, and this is personal, so everyone's at a different spot in their journey. If this resonates, stick with it. If it doesn't, throw it out. But um, it's a call now to, to start activating more of the feeling system when it comes to um, our day-to-day -day activities, the way we're building our lives, uh, the way we're building out the, 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 um, the new earth and, and building out our, our new ways of existing. And what's really hard is that the path that we're taking, very few are taking right now that are at this phase of our development, our phase of our journey. Um, the masses, it, now when I say very few, I'm talking about percentages in compared to the masses of the entire population, the collective of uh, the world. Okay, trolley passed. So this new operating system is literally to shut this off and to act with straight emotional influence. Um, as, as, as far as breaking programming, because like I've, I've broken through a lot of this programming thought structure that exists and I'm really feeling more my way into where I want to go. And um, the, the issue is, is that the intellectual mind, especially one that operates at a high level and high capacity, can't fathom or fully understand why we need to do what we need to do in our journey. But our soul knows. Our higher self knows. Our guidance is pushing us in a direction. And, and when we are activated in that heart space, in that heart-centered way of living, when it comes to the choices we make on a day-to-day -day ex existence, as far as we, what we let in our field, what we let out of our field, um, what we want to do, how we want to manifest our world. Because this, this eclipse kind of was a, um, was a way to just kind of reflect on the way our world has been manifested in our lives because we created this reality we're living in. Every lesson, where you're at currently right now in this space and time, whether it is beautiful or it is terrible, you created it. And so part of that ownership and recognition of it, I'm laughing because it's like, there's a, just kind of get to this point where you're like, I made all this? Yeah, yeah, you created all this. So what are we gonna do about it now? What are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna build a new? Are we gonna keep going? And if we want to keep going and build anew in this new paradigm and in this new reality, this thing needs to shut off. There's a time and a place for this thing to come in and to speak. There's also a time to drop in right here and to let this activate and open. And so there's a lot of decisions that I'm making now that revolve around here. And as soon as I start to voice my opinion of what I'm doing to another individual, and their programming isn't aligned with my programming, all of a sudden that fear energy component, that that worry component starts to enter in and then it can really affect our decision making. And so the call is to be discernment with who we share our information with, with what we're doing, our, our plans. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a call for me right now to move in silence and uh, to not be 100% honest, which is hard because I'm transparent. I'm an open book. I love wearing my heart on my sleeve. I love speaking my mind. I love saying it how it is. I love just being raw and real. But the recognition is that if we are, if we're at a certain state as far as the progression of our ascension and breaking down the programmings and empowering another individual to break down their programming, if someone doesn't understand our programming, they can project that fear onto us and they can, and they can start to project um, their concern onto you, which is happening a lot right now. Because even when it comes down to familial structures, and this is me personally, I recognize that my family structure isn't based on unconditional love. So when we look at conditions, we look at, you know, I love you when you are meeting a certain criteria. I'm not giving you space to just be you. And so when it comes down to like, you know, I, I, I have some people in my life that love me unconditionally. And um, I have a lot, let me put it this way. I have a lot of people in my life that love me, period. Whether it's conditionally or unconditionally, there's a lot of love in my life. But when it's time to break through 
to the next phase of our development and pivot, the trajectory of where we're going may not be completely understood by every individual that we interact with, including family. So because of that, that fear can be projected and that worry and that concern. And when we take it on as our own and don't recognize it for what it is, because we, once again, we have to have a sharpened tool of discernment in order to fully know what is ours and isn't ours. And this is where some of the times the hermit phase and the minimalization of what we are letting in our field when it comes to um, media, when it comes to what we're watching, uh, who we're interacting with, when we start to minimalize that, we start to recognize our own natural imprint. And um, sorry, the trolley's coming again, so it's gonna be a little loud. We start to recognize our natural imprint. And then when we reintroduce things into our field, we can observe our thought patterns changing. We can observe our energy changing. We can, in, we can observe the drains in our field. And that's where we start to learn the discernment of what is helpful and what is hurtful. And so if we are expanding and calling to build anew, which with building anew sometimes requires a level of deconstruction in order to, to build on the foundation we have, what can happen is that a lot of people won't understand exactly what we're doing and there may be a fear and a worry component, which is really going on with me right now. And, and it's now a call to literally just keep my vibration as high as possible and to not let anything bring me down, which means that I have to be a little cold, which means I have to be a little stoic, which means that I have to put up healthy boundaries. Does that make me a bad individual? No, it doesn't. Um, it's, it, it's because I, there's, there's things that I want to do because I want to get to a phase where I can practice self-care and I can be happy so I can let my light illuminate outwards and let it shine on every person I interact with. And so, you know, this, this, this uh, eclipse that happened yesterday was really like an honoring of the power of the divine and how it's orchestrating our lives but then a call to action to, to, to pivot if we have to, to pivot or to accept the reality the way it is. I'm choosing to not accept it because I do have an internal compass that will invoke fear and anxiety to let me know when something is in alignment. And I can choose to just accept it and live in that discomfort or I can take action towards exiting myself from those situations in order to let new ones come into play and that that means a loss of identity that means um having to face a lot of unknown and a lot of fear but once again my mind can only fathom the the loss it can never fully fathom the gain of what to experience the only thing that i can understand understand from the gains that i'm gonna achieve is the feeling of what it will be like when it arrives and so when I follow that feeling in line with my visualization and my affirmations and taking guided action towards creating new, that is what the embodiment is. And that's where we shut this off and we turn into that heart space and really learn to follow what, what feels good. And so here's a little thing you can do towards understanding, ah, I said it again, understanding what's for us and what isn't for us. Go into a meditation. Take a few deep breaths. Take a few deep breaths. And then remember a time in your life where you achieved something and you felt completely whole, ecstatic on top of the world. What did that feel like? And then tune into your senses. Where do you feel this feeling? So for me, I feel my heart exploding. I feel this vibration. A lot of it may say that this is anxiety but it's because there is some programming there that has told me that this feeling is, ex is anxiety when in fact it's just excitement. So you may have to reframe the feeling. So let's not try to label the feeling, but where is it when you are imagining this time in you, instead of judging the feeling, where is it and what does it feel like? Okay, next step, go into meditation again, in the same meditation and relive something that you absolutely disgusted or did not like in your life. Where do you feel it? What does it feel like? Me, it's in the center of my gut. So anything I, I love and, and makes me feel good, I feel it right here in my core presence. And I feel this illumination. Anything that doesn't feel right, I almost feel this twisting knots in my stomach. So boom, there you go. You've already calibrated your compass to fully know what is right and what is wrong. So when we shut this off, when we start to activate our intuition, 
our inner knowing. Our inner knowing will tell us. That is our higher self speaking to us. That is spirit, that is soul telling us where to go and what to do. And this new compass system is what needs to drive. The intellect is always going to run. The intellect can run and can work in harmony with this. But for someone who is over analytical like I am and, and breaking programming and, and it's on its way out, it's a time to drop into the heart space connection and to follow that intuitive voice. And so that's the, that's the big call right now. With the new paradigm and the new shift, it means that we may not fully get what we're doing and why we're doing it. But the journey is to follow the guidance and to not fully under, saying the word again, er, fully understand why we're doing what we're doing and letting, our, letting this emergence, emergence with our higher self carry us forward. Um, and that's what kind of felt like uh, a lot of this clearing was yesterday was this merging with source and um, the union within of the, of the masculine and feminine and getting those two parts to speak together hundred percent to let them talk to each other in a clear voice and clear recognition that they both need to work together in perfect harmony in order to achieve what we achieve and um, I don't mean this being um, a partnership with an external source I'm talking about this internal all parts correlating working together in whole in the core essence of our being in order to project us into the next level of our reality and so that's that's what I'm doing and a lot of people don't get what I'm doing. A lot of people are worried right now. They're like, Corey, we're worried about you. And it's like, yeah, I understand. I'm worried too. I'm scared. I have fear. But I recognize that fear is the thief of dreams. So I consciously choose today to dream. I dare myself to dream. But the dreams can only manifest through practical action, practical guided action. And so there, there, there may be some action steps you need to take that are uncomfortable. And there are going to be fears that pop up and there's going to be a, like an, a, a not fully understanding why you have to do some things. But we're supported. We're on our way. We just need to keep putting one foot in front of the other, breathe, release, and to just let it happen, whatever it may be. And um, that's the call right now. The call is to just shut this off, tune into our heart space and to keep walking forward and um, to let things come. So guys, that's all I've got. Much love and respect out to everybody in the Webiverse. Just wanted to do a little update since the last one, the July update, was a little heady and a little kind of heavy for me. Um, this is what Spirit's been telling me as far as starting the next phase of my development, especially when it comes to the, the deconstruction phase of the cycles and starting anew. You know, um, the energies of this month so far are extremely powerful um, and I'm, I'm consciously choosing to, to ride the wave of change and I hope you join me, join me on this ride, stay balanced and stay upright and um, you know, I'll see you guys when we get into shore and, and maybe we can talk then about the journey so much love and respect um, until then I'm going to keep posting updates about what Spirit's telling me, uh, energy updates, things of that nature if you haven't, there's a link in my description box for my email list. Sign up for the email list. Um, I sent out a light language activation yesterday. There's going to be some content going up. Just random little tidbits of information more than just me on video. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more of the light language stuff on there in meditations um, because I feel like that's kind of specialized content um, that I don't want necessarily actively open on uh, YouTube. And, and it's a very uh, light language to me is a very personal thing. So um, I'd much keep that to the audience that's really um, interested and invested in that. And uh, Reiki appointments are open, wide open, book. I've got uh, free 15-minute um, sessions out with uh, chakra diagnosing, being able to check, see if you're blocked anywhere, and do a little tune-up just to introduce people to my services. So take advantage. It's, it's a free energy healing. Why not? And um, if, you, if you want any coaching or you want um, donation Reiki, 30-minute donation Reiki, or um, hour sessions, all that's wide open. So uh, please um, feel free to utilize those services. Much love and respect to everybody out in the Webiverse. Um, hope everyone had a great eclipse. Thinking about going live um, a little bit later today to try it out. Kind of want to start engaging my audience on a, on a personal level. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, until then, guys, I will see you on the other side. Namaste.